How is it going, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, continuing on with the GTA San Andreas walkthrough videos. I decided to combine two missions into one video. Grove for Life was one prerequisite for the second mission on this video. The next prerequisite is the first mission in this video. This mission is Cutthroat Business. And it is just a pursuit mission. You really have to just pursue um, the antagonist to the end, not let him get away. It's fairly easy. These two missions, Grow for Life and Cutthroat Business, then lead into the second mission on this video, or our prerequisites, and that is Riot, which is the mission before the final mission, which I will cover in a separate video. And let's get on with the Cutthroat Business mission. Hey, what's up, dog? CJ, what's up, baby? What? Resist, sunshine. You can do it. For me, eh? Fucking Northerners. No, Mecca. Fight the urge. Think of Thatcher. You know it's my time again. I know, dude. So what's holding you back? Whoa, whoa, hold up. This is video. I gotta see this fool. Hey, man, you clean now. You got nothing to worry about. We're going to hang with the homies. Man, that fake-ass loke. Loke? But he's terrible. Motherfucker. I knew there was something familiar about those rhymes he was kicking. They're from my rhyme book. That's my money. And those are my hoes. And that's my video he's shooting today. Okay. I say we make a cameo appearance. Just drop in on the night. Yeah, that's gangster. Come on. Gotcha. I love you, my guy. Oh, my car. Oh, you, my you ain't right in the head, mate. Let's drop in on OG Low. See if we can't interrupt that video shoot and recoup some royalties. And my rhyme book. We're flying in style, baby. You got all the makers of a great manager car. Save until we spin in Lope's royalties. Tell me how a fake buster phony like suck-ass Lope can make it in a rap game, CJ. Music business is changing, dog. It's all about dance routines and showmanship now. Any fake-ass idiot can get a record deal these days. So what am I supposed to do? Dog, you got heart. You got natural style. You got ice-cold gangsters running through your veins. Anybody can get a record deal, but only the genuine article can shake down the house. CJ, my man, you're a natural manager. As you can guess from the dialogue between CJ and Mad Dog, they're going to go and uh, drop in on OG Loke's uh, filming, you know, and just kind of muscle in and call him a fake. Like I said, this is just a pursuit mission. And I'm going to fast forward to where Mad Dog and CJ confront OG Loke. You fucking phonies! Son of a bitch! Give me my rhyme book! Give me back my chain! Give me back my hose! He busting out! Come on, dog! Let's get it! You remember the kind of whiny, weasley OG Lope that CJ helped out back at the beginning of the game? Well, I'm just going to leave a link to the playlist for the GTA San Andreas walkthroughs, and you can go there and find those missions. OG leads you on a little fun run-through with these hovercraft. Um, 
yeah, just stick with him. I'm going to fast forward to the next part because it's more fun to play than watch. Oh, if you miss this jump, you can just go around as long as you don't let OG get too far ahead and get away. Again, I'm going to fast forward to the next part. Okay, OG now jumps on some gold carts. Just chase after him. Don't lose him. Don't even bother trying to strafe him or attack him. Just follow him, and wherever he goes, don't let him get too far ahead or lose him because he takes you on a pretty crazy ride. And again, I'm going to fast forward it. He taunts. And whatever, again, it's more fun to play than to watch. So I'm going to go forward with the fast forward. This is the end. Once you go up these steps, it leads to a nice little cut scene and the final resolution of OG Loke's story. You phony! Ah! Uh, man, you can't prove nothing! Hey, Jeffrey, you a buster, straight bitch. You stabbed me and my brother in the back. Man, I'm an artist. We all make mistakes. Ain't that right, Alki? You ain't no artist. You's a buster. You's a fake. Man, I was gonna give you credit on the next album. Man, royalties? Take that. I got Ooh, more Bitch, too. I should smack dog Please. shit out your ass. Break your bitch. face yeah, right here, motherfucker. Yeah, you fucking. phony! <laughs> Mr. Dog, Jimmy Silverman, blasting fool's records. Hold up, I'm the manager. You want to talk? Talk to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pleasure, gentlemen. Let's the talk, I'll all right? Bust your ass. I need hits. I mean hits. Now, what about this guy? This, uh, phony. I've got a good mind to sue his ass into next year. Man, get off me, you drunk. Hey, Lo, go get us some lunch. You get lunch. Excuse me, gangster. I don't think so. Man, get out of here. Don't, don't be pushing me. Don't be pushing me. Some justice for Mad Dog. Even though CJ is responsible for the entire situation, I, I just digress, though. And this mission is a prerequisite for the mission, second mission, on this video. And that mission is called Riot. And let's get on with that mission. Hey, be quiet, be quiet. Come on, you bunch of wankers. This is unbearable. Sure. Sure. Riot Officers Eddie Pulaski and Frank Tenpenny both hard-working members of a community policing unit have been charged with racketeering, corruption, narcotics, and sexual assault. They brought it on themselves. That bastard cost me my farm. And he hogged the bar. Fellow officer Ralph Pendlebury, who had threatened to turn state's evidence and who was then found shot dead in a supposedly unrelated gang incident. Close I say 20 Santos years. Airport. Try five years. Cops always get off easy. Yeah, I heard that. Lost evidence, retracted witness statements, and now, the disappearance of fellow officer Jimmy Hernandez and officer Pulaski himself, believed to be on the run. Oh wait, they're exiting the courtroom now. That bastard Pulaski will probably turn listen, up dead listen. just like the rest of them. In light of the lack of evidence against my client, the district attorney's office has seen fit to drop all charges what? against this innocent man. That's bullshit. You see, Sensation you can't trust the system, man. This surprise decision is wholly unprecedented. Oh, man, ain't no justice. Amazing. It's just I know. Us. I've been arrested numerous times for totally natural be behavior. Los Santos will burn tonight. Ain't nobody oh. gonna be riding in my hood. I don't know about that, Holmes. Look, the whole city is going up. Oh, People are fucking go. pissed off about <laughs> this. People don't know what they want. We all being used. You see, man, 
It's always the same, friend. Power systems corrupt everyone. Look, I said we go secure the hood. We ain't getting shit together so some idiot can burn it down. Shit's real fucked up, man. Yeah, but we gonna handle this ourselves. There ain't no justice, man. How does scum like Tenpenny stay on the streets? Man, I don't know. Just the way shit's stacked, I guess. Man, this is fucked up. We should take that bastard down ourselves. And we will, sweet. CJ has to drive sweet back to Grove Street. I'm gonna let it play out because there's some interesting dialogue that goes on. What? Oh, Macker, he got a little problem he can't control. What kind of problem? He can't stop, you know, giving himself a little bit. What, you mean he likes to consult Professor Hans Jerkoff? <laughs> yeah, regular. Spank the monkey? <laughs> yeah. Take Pomula out? Quit it. <laughs> Burp the worm? Enough, man. Shit, look at this place. Even old ladies robbing shit. I guess it's better than staying home and watching the shopping channel. Yeah, go out there and get yourself a bargain. Shit, man. People real mad. Ten penny responsible for all of this. As if the ghetto ain't wrecked enough. Come tomorrow, most perceptions gonna have a new TV. Look at them like angry kids and some shit. They just tearing up their own neighborhood. Nothing good is gonna come of this. Everything's burning! Put your foot down! Man, the ghetto's tearing itself apart. Gather up some homies and get the hood locked down. You need anything, give me a call. I'm gonna check out the city and see what I can see. You be careful out there, CJ. So there you have it. Los Santos is riding. We know what happened to Pulaski because CJ killed him and the mission High Noon, and it's all coming to a head. And I will do the final video for GTA San Andreas in the next video. Interesting. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. As always, thanks for stopping by.